not eat all the rice or the dried plums or the walnuts and almonds that we grow in my district. We are dependent on export. Now, let me, and our nation, you know, if someone were to ask our listeners, uh, who is the largest exporting nation in the world? Who is the largest trading nation in the world? Probably people would say, oh, China, Japan, Germany. The United States is. Who is the biggest manufacturing exporter in the world? Or if you ask the question, when is the last time you think the United States was a leading exporter in the world? It'd be interesting what a response might be. Well, let me tell you what the response is, that the facts is. Last year, we are currently the largest exporter. The best kept secret in our nation today is how incredibly, crucially important trade is to us. And we right now are seeing trade agreements that are being made unilaterally by other countries. China's making them. The EU, who is, by the way, as I mentioned, 30% of all the prunes in the world let me give an example of what it happens when we're not involved in trade. And the Democrats on the other side are so anti-trade, uh, the Lou Dobbs of the world. Let me tell you what happens just with prudes. We, our largest market of our prudes used to be the EU. Back about two years ago, Chile, who is our biggest competitor, made a unilateral, a bilateral agreement with the EU, and now they go into the EU market tariff-free. Our people are paying 9%, almost 10% tariff. They are just killing our market to the EU. We're seeing this happen in agreement after agreement after agreement being made. So the fact that we're doing nothing, we are losing ground and we can rapidly move from being the number one <coughs> trading nation in the world. I might Let me close with this and allow questions. Last year, how important trade is. Uh, one, 27 percent of the growth in the last quarter was because of increased trade, increased trade. NAFTA, our trade has doubled with our two top trading partners, are Canada and Mexico. How many people are aware of that? That trade doubled. Now, uh, we, if we didn't have that increase in trade, if the other side is successful on, like they say, renegotiating an agreement we've already made, which is working so well for us now, if they were successful in doing this and we didn't have that 27% increase, our economy would, our GDP would actually have gone down in the last quarter then and up. Do we have challenges? Yes. Can we meet those challenges? Absolutely. The first step we have to do to meet these challenges is that we have to make the American public aware of what the challenges are and then come up with the ideas which we have and the policies that we have as Republicans to correct those. We can do that with your help. Uh, I'm dedicated to do that. Thank you.